not appropriate. Uh, hey guys, welcome back. That's not my intro. That's not. Who's it? That, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane, and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today, we're talking about the ultimate Instagram starter. <coughs> Today we're filming a Instagram starter kit guide. I feel like a lot of you guys out there have started from maybe the ground up or maybe you don't know what to do and what you exactly need. We're gonna go over everything from material, tools, resources, techniques, marketing strategy, my, my favorite, and just everything you need to know to jumpstart your account because a lot of you guys don't have much to work with and this is a video for you if you're someone who wants to really grow their brand, take it seriously. And I'm actually joined here with the aesthetic king himself. Ryan X. Oh, it's my cue. Oh my god. Hey girl. How you doing? So I'm gonna let Ryan introduce himself. What's your channel? Well, my name is Ryan. I also have a YouTube channel. I'm also a very big fan of Instagram. I'm kind of like a really artsy version of Jade. Like, I really like the same thing. Exactly why I've decided to bring him on my channel because you guys actually asked me a lot for Jade posting tips, the content, like how to make it aesthetic, not just marketing. It's important. Instagram. I thought we would join forces and mesh together our knowledge on aesthetics in marketing. The ultimate Instagram starter guide. Everything you need to jumpstart your brand in 10 days. Oh. Actually, funny story. So Ryan currently, we're in LA together. It wasn't a funny story. It was funny. I thought it was funny. I just saw Ryan on the street of Hollywood Boulevard, decided to just scare him and greet him. It wasn't funny. I probably scared a lot of people. So I just did a video on editing apps and I went through so many because I feel like there's so many apps that yeah. people always talk about. And I think that the best apps to get are ViscoCam, 100%. And then I think Snapseed, if you want to be a little more extra with it, I think Facetune comes in handy a lot, girl. And I actually think the step two product you need is to understand your brand identity. Having a brand identity for me is really simple. I kind of came up with this like little formula for you guys. Again, this is the only video you will ever need. A lot of those other Instagram gurus will not give you the truth like us, right, Ryan? Heck yeah. Here's three steps I use to kind of find my brand identity. One, theme. Okay, theme is a little, it's a little difficult. Okay, that could be color. That could be your filter, that could actually just be even the way you post and you know, the orientation you do. Second thing for me is format. You know, what's your caption? What's your voice? How are you messaging yourself to be different than your competition? And the last thing, which is really important for me, is having a rule. You know, what's your flow? This. Like, what? It doesn't be anything strict, it's just what works best for you. So let's talk about the theme. Like, how, how the heck do you come up with a theme? Because I have always had that problem. I actually really like this idea now that we're getting into it because I feel like this is a question that I get a lot on my Instagram and on YouTube in general because I feel like it is the first thing that you need to know in order to actually like, you know, grow your Instagram right. YouTube. So my thing with themes is I think a lot of people think that in order to have an Instagram theme, it has to be like super specific and crazy and like three colors right. and like you can't post right. certain photos. Right, it's complex. That is not the route to go down. I know that. I feel like in like 2015, it was a really big thing that was really yeah. weird specific like things. But I think as for a content creator, having that is going to set you back way too much. Right. Just the idea of like not being able to post something so it doesn't like match your theme is insane. It does come down to just inspiration, trial and error. I think that's so true. Like you don't have to copy anyone. And I think no. there's a bad th connotation with like inspiration because mm -hmm. you're like imitating the photo. But there's a difference mm -hmm. between imitation and, you know, kind of... Uh, inspiration taking, yeah. and taking it into your own words so what i really recommend take your top favorite let's say 10 influencers analyze why you like them why you're attracted to them and what they're doing i used to sit and watch my favorite people just to analyze you know what they're doing what time am i posting you know what poses are doing what's their flow um and you can use that to actually find your own voice because a lot of the times i said this on my channel one time before but you guys know like you don't come out of the womb being original you know you learn from your mom no. and dad you learn from the people around you so surround people that you you like and you genuinely have respect for what's that one saying that's like you're you're a you're a you're a you're something of all the people you surround yourself with like you're a combination like you're what's the word only as good as the people around you and tying that in to you know the format okay. i think that with instagram is it's kind of a combination of a lot of things i think that you have more personal photos like on my instagram i have like really casual photos of me at like starbucks and then i have like super professional photos of me like at a beach and i have like photos of like ice cream like, right and you also do long captions and shorter and like mm -hmm. some of them are like mixed so i totally see like changing it up too oh yeah like you've done the same thing like you've had like really long captions like meaningful stuff and then you've had you know like shorter adding perspective that really helps people because if you're so narrow-minded it's hard to give people this perspective on who you are they're like yeah it's kind of crazy with instagram because you never really know what how your audience is going to react to something like i literally posted a picture of ice cream 
And it got more ice cream. than all And it of got them. like <laughs> so many more than I was expecting. I was like, why did my ice cream get more pictures than me? So the last thing in kind of brand identity is the rule. Like, is there a rule? What's an algorithm? Something that a lot of people would be curious of, and I'm kind of curious of too, right. is do you think that there's a certain time that people should post or a certain like a routine, a time or anything like that okay. that people should post? Like, do you think it matters? Because I don't know. Yes and no, because think about it like this. There's not a select time. Everyone's different. There's not. However, the algorithm. There is a time. Is dumb. Right, and also you have to think about it. the algorithm is not chronological. But every post, the, guys, you have to realize the reason why sometimes you go on Instagram and the first photo you see is like Sally or someone you recently interacted with. Typically, it's a friend, right? So you know, Facebook on Instagram. So they're saying like we don't want to promote any more posts that are sponsored or brands. We want to do people that are friends to increase the user activity. So basically, you want to trick Instagram. The key with this little science is you want to trick Instagram thinking that your followers are your friends. Not that they're not, but sometimes we overlook about being one-on-one. -on -one. So if you DM people like their photo, Instagram's gonna say, oh, they probably know each other in real life, so let's promote their post. So make sure you don't just do a thing where you say, you blast a piece of content and you don't do anything. Reply to people, like their post, stalk them. Literally, just by stalking them, Instagram will take note, put that into a database, and be like, yo, let's promote them. Yeah, I think also it's social media, like just be social. I think a lot of people on Instagram, they think that they can like hop on Instagram and post one photo and then like not respond to any comments, not do like anything. Something that I don't understand a lot with a lot of people on Instagram is they don't respond to any comments. Oh they my don't. god. Like, interact at all. I'm literally Who do you like think you are? Um, I think the last thing I'm gonna talk about, which is the most important thing, none of this will work if you don't have the last thing, which is the purpose. And I think I tapped into this before. A lot of you guys are gonna roll your eyes like, oh my God, Jay, this is so, no! Okay, this is super important. You can't just do Instagram. I don't know, do you think it's possible to just do Instagram to, just to do Instagram be famous? Or do you think, what's your thoughts on that? I have a lot of thoughts on that. My thing with that, that if you're doing Instagram or I guess inner social media just to gain followers, you're gonna be so empty at the end of the day. A sense of happiness, like I don't, I just, I don't get that. Like, what are you trying to gain from that? And that- mm -hmm. Like, if you wanna just get followers, buy them. Yeah, literally. And stop complaining. If you're not, like, yeah, if you're not doing it for any reason, like, why, why do you them? care? Like, and, like, I don't know. And if you're complaining that you bought them or you bought follow and follow and you're not getting them, use that to feel what you need to do, which is build a relationship. For the longest time, here's a tea, guys. I, last year, I, like, bought, I think, oh, God, I don't know. I know, I just found out about this? this. If you want to say more this? about ah! this tea. Okay, so I bought, like... I did follow and follow until, so from zero to 5K, I did follow and follow. From 5K to 10K, I bought 5,000 followers. You bought 5,000. Um, and I'm not ashamed of it because I knew that's what I needed to learn. So if you guys need to start maybe doing random ass shit just to know who you are, um, if I didn't do that, I probably would Are you telling them to buy followers? No! If you bought followers in the past, don't worry. A lot of you guys are thinking to block them. Just move on. Stop dwelling on the past. Just try to focus on what's important, which is building an audience and bringing value. Um, another question really that. Have you ever done the bot thing? Probably, yeah. The Automation. thing where it's like, what? Because I heard that apparently like models do it, but it's oh, like yeah, the, a bot thing where like your account or like other accounts yep, will yep, I've done be done that. Yeah. Did it do anything? No. So what it does for me is all these automation tools, if you guys are curious, will get you the number and it'll get you social proof. But however, it will not build any sort of relationship at all. You might get the like, but you'll never get the comment. I think it's just more of like a cool number on the screen rather than actually impacting people. So it depends what you guys like. Well, and I think also you like you're just gonna be empty at the end of the day because like you know in your head that like you bought them and they weren't real. Like I know like at I'm first it's like too. one of the things I want you guys to take away from everything this video is you know how did you find your why? Because I think we're talking about you love, we love social media so much. The reason why we built this entire thing is to show our love and impact your lives because- I think that when you are somebody that is in high school or at that age, I think even being a creative person at all, it's kind of like, because obviously when you're in high school, people talk about like college, you talk about like all these other things. And it is really hard when you have this like creative mindset and you want to do something that's different. Like obviously like YouTube is different, doing Instagram is different. For me, like I was into like acting, I was into all this other stuff. It sucks when you're that age because it's like, you don't relate to anyone. You kind of do feel like a black sheep in that situation. A big message that I want to share, I know like you want to share too, we've talked about it, but that you're not alone out there. I know it's so cliche to say. No, but no, for real. Use social media as an escapism to build a community you lacked in real life. Like it is so much, it's such a blessing to just like, have people who listen to me because in the real life never and now people in high school are like wow Jesus, oh yeah you. we're talking but, about that too on my channel i just think if you guys are starting start for a purpose that's bigger than yourself 
you wanna, we, we do social, the reason why I created this channel to help you grow on social media is because I love it so much, it changed my life mm -hmm. and I want it to change yours. Um, and that's my bigger picture. I think the same thing, I think honestly, it's it crazy how much social media has changed my life and how mm -hmm. It's got me through such a dark time and having that support system. Like I, I can't imagine what it'd be like no, if I no. didn't have that. Um, and we just thank you guys for being here. If you're someone who has been trying to be on your social media journey, comment below your question in your Instagram at username. And honestly, create your little, let's create a little group guys and help each other out. I'm really inspired by you guys who have been commenting and networking like someone like also like dropped their Instagram one day and just made a little yeah, group. comment your Instagram. You'd and be surprised because all of these people are in the same boat Follow each you other, are. right. Yeah. And let's support each other because, again, I think we should think about community over competition. It's super hundred out there, but 100%. we have to support each other. Um, 100%. And I hope you guys enjoyed the starter pack guide with Ryan. Go subscribe and check out our video below. Actually, tomorrow, like, so when we were filming this video, it was so hard to schedule. We finally got time to we're sit. We're horrible at scheduling. Honestly, together. I have a flight tomorrow to Paris, actually. And I want to know if you guys are out there from Amsterdam, London, or Paris. Come and meet me. Oh, Wait, you want to come? Come nice in Come in my suitcase. All right, guys. So Ryan's in this bag. We're about to head to Europe, guys. Again, I'll put more official dates on my Instagram, so go follow that. Again, thank you so much for watching. Also, and follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys want to be the next comment winner, comment below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Obliterate the like button, and I'll see you next time. Follow me. Shut up, Ryan.